Welcome to Integration of Exponentials. So from your reference sheet, it has the integral of f dash of x of e to the f of x dx is equal to e to the f of x. So once again, we're going to focus on that f of x and notice that the f of f dash of x has to be out the front. So e to the 4x we're going to integrate and we're going to integrate 2x plus e to the x. So something that's a combination of um, exponentials and what we've learned from the past. So e to the 4x. Notice that the f of x is 4x. So the f dash of x is 4. So that's what I need in front of the e to the 4x. So if I'm going to put a 4 in front of the e to the 4x, I need to put a quarter out the front. So it undoes it, or a quarter of 4 is 1, which gets us, which is what the original was. So we put the 4 in front of e to the 4x. The integral of 4e to the 4x now gets us e to the 4x. That's using the reference sheet rules with the quarter out the front. Remember the plus C. Second one, integral of 2x plus e to the x. So if we just do the 2x as we normally do, raise your power, divide by your new power, that gets you x squared. Let's take the e to the x and just focus on the fx part over to the side. So the fx is the x, the f dash of x is 1, and you'll notice that I've got 1 in front of e to the x, so the integral of e to the x is e to the x, and then I plus the c. Now let's evaluate some definite integrals. So we're going to go 0 to 2 of 4e to the 2x, and 2 to 3 of e to the 7 minus 3x. So the integral of 0 to 2 of 4e to the 2x. Once again, we'll put the fx over the sign. So fx is 2x, f dash of x is 2. Well, I've got 4 in front of e to the 2x, and I only need 2, so I've got twice as much. So I'm going to put 2 times 2, uh, so the 2 times out the front, so that it leaves me with 2e to the 2x being integrated. So 2e to the 2x integrates to e to the 2x between 0 and 2, summing the values 2 and 0, and you get e to the 4 minus e to the 0. And if you... Expand brackets, you get 2e to the 4 minus 2 because e to the 0 is 1. Now let's look at the integral of e to the 7 minus 3x between 2 and 3. So the fx part is 7 minus 3x. f dash of x is minus 3. So I need minus 3 in front. At the moment I've only got a 1 in front. So I need to put a minus 3 in front, so to undo that, I need a minus a third out the front. And if you multiply minus a third by minus 3, it gives us the one that was originally in front of e to the 7 minus 3x. So the integral of minus 3 e to the 7 minus 3x is e to the 7 minus 3x between 2 and 3. Subbing the 3 minus subbing in the 2. 7 minus 3 times 3, e to the minus 2. And 7 minus 3 times 2 gives us e to the power of 1. Now we can rewrite that, so let's expand the brackets. e to the minus 2 is 1 over e squared, so when I times that by minus a third, I get minus, minus 1 over 3 e squared. A minus times a minus makes a plus, and e to the 1 we can just write as e. Final example, find the equation of the curve given that it passes through the point 0, 1 and f dash of x equals e to the 2x. So we've got f dash of x is e to the 2x. So f of x is the integral of e to the 2x. So if I go from f dash of x back to f of x, I integrate. All right. So I need a 2 out the front because f of x is 2x, so I need a 2 out the front because that's f dash of x. It means I need to undo it and put a half out the front. So that gets me uh, f of x equals a half e to the 2x plus c. Now we were given that it passes through the point 0, 1. So when x is 0, y equals 1. Substitute those in and we get 
1 equals a half e to the 2 times 0 plus the c on the n. So e to the 2 times 0 is e to the 0, which is 1, minus the half, and c equals a half. So therefore, f of x equals a half e to the 2x plus a half. Thank you.